Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. There we go. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be going over how to get the best candidates without it being forced. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you are a new subscriber, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If any of the following applies to you. If A, you enjoyed the video, B, it was informative, or C, if I was entertaining. It truly doesn't hurt to join the troops. So thank y'all, enjoy the video. Let me know what y'all think. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. So when you are in a shoot, sometimes they don't know how to pose or what to do. And that's fine, you know, cause that's kind of our job. But when it's our job to do, deal with shutter speed, posing, aperture, f-stop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then, you know, they also expected to get some candidates, then what? Exactly. We're expected to do all this in the time bracket and I had these photos come out super clear and like, you know, in focus. It could be super stressful. So here are some things that I like to do to warm my client up so they won't be stiff when they're ready to pose and to warm my photography skills up so I can finally capture some images. That'd be... So if you're coming to a shoot, you can come to a shoot one or two ways. It all depends if you can have a camera in there and or if you're going to travel to a different location. What I mean by that is sometimes as a photographer, a videographer, you leave your camera and stuff in your bag because you want to make sure you can get into the building and on the premises, you know, before the book. Oh, you can't film here with the detachable lens and camera, etc. etc. So you may be wondering why I got the angle like this. If you was reading my hoodie while I was talking before, it clearly says alter perspective so we're going to try new things so one you can arrive with your camera in the bag say your haze you know your, your greetings see where people will mainly be if it's going to be more than one person but if it's just a single person then you know don't worry about it you just say hey to that person go about how you want to introduce yourself talk and talk and talk and then you get into the shoot right then you proceed to go, you know, to your get ready to shoot list. Everybody's shoot list is different. My go-to get ready shoot list, you know, after I say my greetings and haze, is totally different probably from everybody else's. Maybe a couple things is the same, but that's just, you know, the minor things, right? Two, the title of this video. When you arrive, you're gonna arrive with camera in possession. What I mean by that is, if you're arriving with the camera in possession, meaning where you're walking up to your client, you're taking pictures, if they're talking to somebody else or if they're busy, you're, you're, these are your met off guards that you're going to have that you can play with and tweak uh, if you like them or if you don't, you can get rid of them. So you're gonna arrive with camera in possession, that's ready to shoot or already be shooting a client. This applies to any kind of shoot, but mainly anything not studio related, just to simplify that. So when you are shooting right away, that gives you some feedback on what you can play with on how your subject responds to actually being in front of a camera and told what to do and actually seeing how they respond on not being in front of the camera and you're actually getting them off guard because when you're taking pictures of people that they don't notice they're in their true element right they aren't stiff they aren't like okay i need to make sure every movement is perfect i want to look good they're just natural they're calm and they're collected in their own person it also shows the client that you're a hard worker you love what you do and you're willing to do sort of semi anything for the shot because you really love your passion. Most people go to shoots, take the pictures and leave, but it, most photographers do it for money. Not all, most. Honestly, I think it'd just be worth it to get some extra shots and have stuff to play with. Hear me out though. There are some cons that can come with that as well. Could you guess what it can be? Con number one, overshooting. Con number two, more to narrow down image wise con number three more to edit con number four more images your camera has on its body but coming from a pro photographer in the making i find it best sometimes and very worth it there's tons of pros just as well as cons I truly think it's worth it i got more to play with picture wise i can charge for more photos if they want more the versatility that I now have and that I can play with 
I have more for my portfolio. I have more for my Instagram. Some people are not gonna like this one. And I don't care. I'm just speaking the truth that majority won't. Definitely in this industry. I also actually just enjoy photography and videography. I'm not doing it for the monetary benefits that comes with it. So I'm not gonna say this video has taken me two days to complete, but I'm just saying I enjoy what I do. And next, what I tell them to do, I say feel free to move around, get comfortable, get loose, you know, just enjoy yourself. And I'm gonna be taking pictures. And you know, well, I don't tell them I'm gonna be taking pictures. I know I'm gonna be taking pictures. And they're gonna be like, you know, some people understand them, but all right, cool. Some people, you may have find that they're like, oh, why should I move around? We on a time frame? When you gonna start taking pictures? When you gonna pose me? I don't know how to pose. Calm down, Karen. Calm down. I know what I'm doing. But if you ever come across people like that, just say, don't worry, I'm going to be taking pictures of you. I just want you to feel free so we can both warm up our skills and so you won't be stiff like a rock, right? They're going to be like, but the picture's going to be blurry. The picture's this, the picture that. Then you're like, don't worry. I have a shutter speed. What is a shutter speed? A shutter speed, let me put it to you like this. If a car is driving down a road at 20 miles an hour, I could put my shutter at 40 to 80 and I can capture that car in stop motion. It's my job to capture you and your element while it looking good and you ain't got nothing to worry about. You know, just something along the lines of that, right? That's just how you're gonna have to break it down to certain people because certain people just like knowing things. So, ain't nothing wrong with that, right? Then I talk to them about their inspiration, their inspo, right? Or their visions, how they want their pictures to look can they send me the inspo or show me the inspo on their phone if they already hasn't sent it to me prior before the shoot? Then I look at what kind of uh, images they're going for, how they want their body to be. And all of the time, the whole entire time, I'm gauging, like, you know, when I told them to move around, I am gauging them to see what their skills is as far as in posing skills, right? And do they feel comfortable in front of a camera? Because if they do, it's going to be easier for you to pose them because they're going to be more comfortable in their body. But if they aren't, then when you pose them, they might do the pose correctly, but it's going to look forced. You want that natural feel to it. You want that candid feel, right? So you pose them, you get the inspo, you was taking candidates the whole time, the title of the video, how to get the best candidates without it being forced. To finally bring you to the point, you did all that, you got three sets of, two sets of candidates already. When you first arrive, and when you told them just to move around freely, you're gonna be setting up your camera, you're gonna be doing some stuff, but you're really taking pictures because you're you're a semi-low-key liar. <laughs> no, no, no. But you got two sets of candidates already, and here's gonna be the third set, and one of the most important ones, and how to do your job efficiently. How I find that grabbing some candidates is super perfect this way, for you and your clients, it's because it's super personal. It's all up to them to finally get into character, all up to them to finally feel themselves and be happy with who they are and enjoying the photo shoot. Because as a photographer, it's our job to make them feel comfortable so we can do our job again correctly, right? Number one, you're gonna be like, hey, what's your favorite song? Okay, cool. Your favorite song is X, Y, and Z. This only applies to, you know, this applies to everybody, of course, but this is applies to people who you feel comfortable with that you can do this. If it's some kind of formal shoot, like, oh, you show up, I show up, I take pictures, you pay, I leave, etc. cool. But if you really love what you do, then you're going to do what's necessary to make sure you are having fun and they are having fun doing what you're doing. So you're going to be like, what's your favorite song? Okay, cool. Dance to your favorite song. Dance, listen to your favorite song, to your celebrity crush, crush, spouse, etc and just enjoy yourself, enjoy the moment. I've done this plenty of times and it's worked. I have proof, you know. When they're doing that, you're gonna be snapping pictures the whole time. Whether you wanna hold that shutter or whether you wanna because it's really up to you. Of course, you're gonna have pictures to go over, but if you feel like you can capture the pictures perfectly and just clicking it, and you understand your camera, how you know you want your shutter speed to be to capture them, and you know it's in focus, trust yourself. Trial and error. But I believe that you could do it. That's just one of the best ways that I find super helpful to capture candidates. Because it personally has worked for me a ton of times. As a photographer, it is our job to 
be unique in what we do and in our craft. It's our job to set the tone and make them feel comfortable at the shoot, at the space, in the environment. So they can open up and everything could be simpler for everybody. Or just give them a shot. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Nobody get nobody a shot. Anyways, that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching until the end, if y'all did. And thank y'all so much for tuning in. My name is Sosography. I'm going to try to make a video every single week. Cooking's going on in the background. I'm going to try to make a video every single week. I'm going to try to make it throughout the week. Post it on Monday, etc., etc. Follow me on social media. My Instagram will be in the link below. It's Sosography. Same name as my Instagram. Um, I post over there as well. Cools of tips, tricks, and cool like videos going on in the city, taking pictures of people. Um, I really appreciate all the support. I really appreciate everybody who's tuning in so far, who liked the video, who's going to subscribe in the future. I really enjoy what I do, and I think it's pretty cool. So, without further ado, subscribe, like this video. I got my subscriber badges on Instagram. If you want to see behind the scenes exclusive content, feel free to tap into that. I believe it's pretty cheap. Um, for the first five people and then it goes back up to the normal team or whatever I tried to make it for the first like 10 people, but not my rules Instagram rules, right? So Definitely go tap into that because that's that's some honestly some very good stuff that goes on behind the scenes until each and every shoot Just like a kind of spill of what I did today right now I did it over there on my Instagram, but in the moment like uploading videos like right in there because our phones are super more easily and accessible and personable while we're out in the shoot besides recording getting out the sd card editing etc 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 long story short thank y'all so much for tuning into this video and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace